So in this video, I'll show you steps on how to maximize your chances at getting ZKS. That's their token, or at least that's what we think their token is. It has not been confirmed. Uh, and this is if ZK Sync does an airdrop in the future. Also not confirmed, uh, and it might never come, but there's a chance that it will happen. And especially with the success that we have seen with the Arbitrum uh, airdrop, but also with some, uh, with some more regulatory pressure uh, against ICOs and sometimes IDOs. An airdrop is actually an excellent way of launching your token. All right, so that brings us to the first uh, page and the first link we're going to visit, which is bridge.ckSync.io. But again, all the links will be down in the description. So here we're going to bridge our Ethereum from the CK Sync era, uh, from Ethereum to the CK Sync era mainnet. I've already done that. What you basically do on this website is you see deposit, you fill in all of your Ethereum because we're going to bridge it all over to the CK Sync era mainnet, and then you just uh, click deposit. You'll need enough Ethereum in your wallet as well uh, to pay the gas fees. So you cannot transfer everything. Leave a little bit for the gas fees. Click deposit, and very easily you have now bridged your assets from Ethereum to the CK Sync uh, network, which is the first step in this process. Will already uh, give you a chance to have some CKS tokens airdrop to you. The first website we're going to, and again all the links will be down in the uh, in the pinned comment or the description, is Sync Swap. And here I'm actually going to show you how. How to swap it what we're basically going to do is we're going to swap ethereum for usdc or usdc for for ethereum but we have bridged ethereum over so we have ethereum i still have 0.21 right now so for example i will bridge over 0.1 to usdc what you do then is you just press swap if everything is correct 175 dollars for 174 dollars back which is you know, fine, you'll lose some money. That is what will happen uh, when you're uh, doing these actions. But you press swap, you approve it in your MetaMask wallet, there you click confirm, and it's very easy. Then you have done that. You've bought some USDC for your Ethereum. That's the first thing we're going to do on sync swap. The second thing is we're going to add liquidity to a liquidity pool. So you press pools up here, goes to the USDC Ethereum uh, pool, and what you'll do is you have to deposit something in the pool. I already have something in it as well, about $200. Uh, but what you do is you deposit, you press, for example, 150 USDC, um, add tokens in balance proportion, you do as well. You have to add as much in value as in USDC as in Ethereum. Uh, you press unlock USDC, which basically you need to do uh, for MetaMask uh, so that the website, so that MetaMask knows that you uh, that the website is allowed to get your uh, USDC. Press confirm, then you press deposit, and you have added to the liquidity pool. Now this we are not only going to do, I'm going to have to confirm that in MetaMask as well, very easy to be honest, but now you have added it to the liquidity pool. So now you can see that I have over, uh, or a little bit less than $500 in assets in the liquidity pools on SyncSwap. We're going to do the same thing, this is all the same step, on space swap as well. So here it, it works exactly the same. You can swap from Ethereum to USDC. And then at the very top, you can see the pool. You say add liquidity to Ethereum against USDC, for example. And then you can add liquidity here as well. It, it works exactly the same as sync swap. And we're also going to do it on mute swap or mute.switch. Again, all the links will be down in the description. First of all, we will swap Ethereum in this case, I think, against USDC. That's what we're going to do first. And then we're going to uh, go to the menu up here, go to pool and add to the USDC Ethereum pool as well. So we have now interacted with three different decentralized DeFi applications and we have swapped on them and we have added liquidity to them. So that's step number three, if I'm correct. Now, the next thing we're going to do is mint our own NFT on mintsquare.io. Uh, if you go to that website, all the links are down in the description. At the top menu, you press the ZK Sync era mainnet, and then you go to mint. There you will just have to, or just upload a picture, which is going to be your own NFT. I created an NFT uh, off of the logo of Solinix Crypto. Uh, you have to give it the name and then just very easily press mint. And once you press mint, it will take you back to MetaMask. There you will have to pay the gas fee to actually create the NFT. 
just confirm that if the gas fee is not too high you will all be able to see that in main in the main net and then you have minted your own nft which is also one thing that could be considered in the airdrop you can see for me right now i have my uh, my own nft minted the selenix crypto nft so if you want to buy that uh, go to mintcore.io and uh, give me some offers uh, at least uh, 10 ethereum so and the next step is is we're going to go to crew3.xyz slash zk sync but again links are down in the description and here we're going to complete tasks so basically this is a uh, dashboard of different quests um, made by crew 3 in cooperation with zk sync which allows you to uh, become higher up in the discord of zk sync uh, so this has no direct correlation to the airdrop yet uh, but it's a very small effort i mean i haven't completed all tasks yet i have completed some very small effort and it does uh, create some goodwill and some potential for the CKS airdrop. So I would definitely recommend you to do this as well. Who knows what developments and who knows what kind of new things this uh, this this cooperation between ZK Sync and Crew3 will bring um, in relation to the airdrop. All right, now on to the last step. So what we just talked about is first of all to bridge your Ethereum over to the CK Sync era mainnet. Uh, we talked about interacting with the DeFi applications, so sync swap, space swap, and mute switch, uh, swapping assets on there, but also adding to liquidity pools. So really using the network, we minted our own NFT and we completed quests for CK Sync. Now, apart from that, the biggest thing I think for this airdrop is going to be continued usage of the platform, bridge assets over to Ethereum again, and then back to uh, the CK Sync. Uh, mainnet use the DeFi services more often swap different tokens add to liquidity pools withdraw from uh, liquidity pools mint nfts and most importantly so let me know if you have any questions but for now take care and bye